Well, the state of Ohio pays out more than $5 billion every year to people who've retired from public service jobs. The system, for the most part, is sustainable. But as Jackie Kucher reports in tonight's Waste Watch, some fear if we hit another major recession, taxpayers will foot the bill. There are nearly 174,000 retirees who get a state pension. Another 243,000 are working towards retirement. In 2011, that added up to more than $5.1 billion paid out. The people who benefit from the system are state workers who get in, stay for 30 years, and then retire. And then basically they have this glide path where they'll be able to be successful. A third of the funding for OPERS, or Ohio Public Employee Retirement System, comes from the employee and the employer. Each OPERS member pays 10% of his or her salary, the rest coming from the employer. For Dayton, that amount has been slowly dropping each year. The city's cut down the workforce, and when people retire, they're not replaced. But it's the remaining two-thirds of funding for the program that has critics concerned. The majority of money that keeps the program afloat comes from returns from investments. The idea that taxpayer dollars will never be involved, I think, is not true. If something really bad happened, the taxpayers would be responsible. Kevin Holtzberry is with the Buckeye Institute. It's a conservative think tank that keeps track of state spending. He fears if we hit another recession, all the risk is on the state. If you have higher and higher costs, lower and lower returns, there's a big gap. And that's where we get these unfunded liabilities, which are pretty significant. Taxpayer dollars that would go to other programs would have to go to pensions because it's a guaranteed payout. You have more and more people uh, making higher and higher salaries, working longer, retiring, and then living a lot longer, you have a demographic problem. Here in the private sector, it's basically flipped, right? All the risk is on you. You're responsible for your retirement. Despite being the 11th largest public pension fund in the U.S., no one with OPERS could talk with us on camera. A rep tells us, quote, for every $1 of taxpayer contribution to OPERS, investments and employee contributions plus other sources of revenue return $3.06 back into the Ohio economy, an economy that will hopefully sustain our retirement system. I'm Jackie Kutcher reporting. Well, if you suspect local or state government wasting your money, we'd like to investigate the problem. You can call our tip line at 262-1426 or email us at wastewatch at fox45now.com.